What's going on? It's Willie Jones. I'm hanging out here at Famous Birthdays, and I got a, a little, what do you call this? A little, uh, I'm gonna just call it a cubby hole. <laughs> Full of questions from fans, and I'm gonna uh, answer them for y'all, so let's get to it. First question. Who are your musical inspirations? Oh man, I have so many. Um, the first one that comes to mind is just because I've been a huge fan since I was a little kid is Kanye West. Just because he's just so creative and just musically just talented, just a talented person. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of gospel music, a lot of pop, a lot of R&B, a lot of hip hop. So just off the top of my head, Chris Brown, Usher, um, Casey Musgraves, Ryan Leslie, the list goes on and on. I just love people who just are individual and just stick to their craft and just elevate it. So, yeah. Next question. What was it like to have cameras following you around on Chasing Cameron? Um, at first, it was really weird. For those of you who don't know what Chasing Cameron is, it's a Netflix show. Um, Netflix documentary based on Cameron Dallas and this tour we went on called MadCon and we travel like all around the world. But uh, yeah, at first it was really weird. I was like, why are they being so nosy? But literally after a while, we didn't even recognize it. Like we would just have normal conversations and just like now, I don't feel like I'm talking to a camera. I feel like I'm talking to a person, but this is the future, man. Next question. <laughs> What's your favorite song to cover? Um, ooh, that's a hard one. Well, actually, it's really easy. Your Man by Josh Turner. That's like how I was introduced to the world. And I used to sing that song at karaoke back home all the time. But I said I won't be covering that song anymore. I, I put it in retirement until I'm doing like, like an X Factor, like, 10 year, 20 year reunion, and it's like me, Fifth Harmony, like B Miller and Ray, you know, the whole gang's back together. <laughs> so yeah, Your Man by Josh Turner. Y'all know how it go. Next one, I gotta put my glasses back on. If you could perform anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, anywhere in the world. I mean, one place that I've always wanted to go is anywhere in Africa, uh, anywhere in Africa, like Nigeria, like Cape Town. I think it would just be really cool and just a good energy. And um, yeah, it's just so much to see. I mean, it's the motherland, you know what I'm saying? So anywhere in Africa, I would love to perform there. Next question we have here. What is one of the best concerts you've been to, Beyonce? Before I even finish. I went to Beachella. Randomly, my sister called me. Um, I was in LA and my sister came out here from Louisiana with a few of her friends to go to Coachella. And I didn't get a ticket, so I was just at home like on, on Instagram, just scrolling, just wallowing in self-pity. <laughs> and uh, my sister called me and was like her friend um, didn't like Coachella because it was too many people. So she cut her wristband off and I just like got some super glue, put the wristband on and it was the night Beyonce performed. So I got to see that amazingness and Destiny's Child reunited back on stage. It was, it was crazy. And that was like my second time seeing Beyonce, but I've also seen Chris Brown I loved, um, Usher I loved, um, Jason Aldean I loved, Lady Antebellum, Sam Hunt. I've seen a lot of people and I just love live shows. Drake, if you see me at a concert, it's like I'm on 10. Like I'm walking around, I got a I snuck a bottle in, I'm passing it out, sharing with everybody, just having the best time. And security always tells me to go back to my seat. But we don't listen to security sometimes. Next question. What is one of your proudest moments? Um, one of my proudest moments was, I think just August 3rd when I released my EP, 
um, road waves. Um, yeah, that was just really just felt like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders because it had been a lot of work put into it, a lot of time, a lot of tears, a lot of sweat. It wasn't no blood though. I'm not gonna say blood, just sweat and tears. But um, yeah, and to finally get it out to the people um, as a body of work that was complete. It had been years like since I did X Factor and this is like the first complete body of work I've done. Um, and like with so much support behind me, shout out to Empire, shout out to Force Sound, my whole team. But um, yeah, well, that was one of the proudest moments, just waking up in the morning and being like, it's out. Um, here you go. What's mine is yours. So yeah, putting out my EP Road Waves, which is out streaming right now on Tidal, on Spotify, on Apple Music, on all that good stuff. So check that out. Next question we have here. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two siblings slash best friends. Chelsea Jones is my older sister. She's 27. And Sanaya Jones, that's my younger sister. She's 17. And we're like this. We've always been like this. Um, it's really cool. I got to go back home last week and surprise my family. And it's just so cool seeing my little sister grow up like she a junior in high school. And it's cool, too, because she got like the best of my mom, my dad, me, and my sister. So she's like um, the Megazord of children. <laughs> she's just really dope. So yeah, those are my best friends. We talk about everything. They're really supportive. And uh, yeah, those are my siblings. Oh, and I have a brother too, Duntrell. He's my older brother. That's my dad's son, but we still blood. I also got to hang out with him when I was back home and just chop it up. And he's like older, like he's like in his 30s. So it's cool to get to learn from him. And also just kick it with them. Like, that's my bro. What's your favorite song that you've released? Um, I really am feeling Windows Down. Um, that's on my project, Roll Waves. It's the lead single off of that project. And the song is pretty much just about forgetting about the troubles of the world, picking up your girl, and riding with the windows down, just letting the wind uh, just blow through your scalp, through your cornrows. <laughs> And yeah, just, just forgetting about because there's so much crazy stuff that goes on in this world and it's so easy to get caught up in that. But it's also easy to rise above it. And all you got to do is pick your girl up in your Chevy and ride with the windows down. So windows now, check that out. How was your experience on X Factor? Man, my experience on X Factor was really beautiful. Um, I was fresh out of high school. Like I was 17. Um, it was like the summer of 17 when I tried out for it and then when I got on it, it was like the fall. Um, well, actually filmed in the summer, I got on it in the fall. And it was just the best time, not the best, but it was one of the better times of my life. Um, just because I met so many new people. I feel like that whole experience kind of like drew me out of my shell. Uh, just becoming just a more social person and just like, um, yeah, just seeing the best in people too. That's one thing I learned from that experience. Um, and just performing, like doing music on that scale at 17 in front of like a crowd like that. Like I plan on going to college and like, you know what I'm saying? I had a major in musical theater, minor in business. And you know, I was like, yeah, the singing thing gonna work out after I get out of school, probably like five years after I got out of school, I'll work hard, you know what I'm saying? Build my clout up, collect my clout tokens. But um. Yeah, it all happened like really fast and I met some great people. I'm still friends with a lot of a lot of the people from X Factor. I mean, like a lot of them. Janelle, shout out Janelle Garcia. Normani, we still cool. Um, Lauren, like everybody, we still like found. So I made a lot of good friends, made a lot of good memories, sung a lot of great music, and I'm still here. I haven't given up. So X Factor was a great experience. It was like the launching pad for Willie Jones. Next question. What's your favorite city to perform in? I'm gonna have to say, I haven't, well, I've done a lot of traveling like with Madcon, um, but I think one of my favorites, I remember it was some city in Germany that was really cool because it was high energy. Um, but I remember when we did the show in Dallas and like, I think it was Houston and Atlanta, the South, 
it's like a different type of energy. Um, yeah, because everybody is just like super turned. Like it's different. It's really different. And I can relate because I'm super. I'm a super turned kind of person. So um, yeah, anywhere in the South, Dallas, Shreveport, New Orleans, Houston. Uh, yeah, anywhere in the in the in the South. Next question. What are you currently working on? <laughs> uh, currently, I'm working on um, Well, we really haven't like You know, put the stamp on it for real, for real But I've been in the studio just working on new music for the album I don't have a title for the album But yeah, just new music, new music, new music in the studio all day, every day Um Working on some 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 collaborative deals with some people that I'm really 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 excited about, and um, yeah, just working on myself as well. Every day I just want to become better. Um, my mom says this quote; she's been saying it to me since I was little. But good, better, best, never let it rest till your good is your better, and your better is your best. So every day is just. Uh, another day to get better every minute you can get better you can learn something like so I just turned 24 and I feel like this is gonna be the year where I like become a man it's kind of like weird but I'm excited for it. I'm still a kid at heart but I'm excited for it so yeah that's what I'm looking forward to that's what I'm working on if you weren't singing what would you be pursuing I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I'll probably be in musical theater that's still like singing or some kind of theater. I would still be performing or doing something creative. I mess around with Photoshop, so like probably like graphic design or I don't know, voiceovers or something creative, something that doesn't feel like work for me. Because that's what it's about, not feeling like you're working and just being proud of your work. How many instruments can you play? I play guitar. Like I just play cowboy chords and working on getting better. That's another thing I'm working on. What are you currently working on guitar? Uh, but yeah, guitar uh, and I sing. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I want to learn harmonica too. My friend got me a harmonica for my birthday that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a master one of these days. Next question we have here, we have two more left, and I'm gonna go with any mini mini mo catch a tiger by us toe. If you how just let him know any mini mini mo. My mom told me to pick the very best one and you are not it. Okay, so this one. <laughs> what is something you cannot live without? I'm gonna say my family, my la familia, my sisters, my mom, my dad, my cousins. They make me who I am. They, I, I was just heavily influenced by them growing up and I've learned damn near everything I know from them. Um, you know, they just look out for me. They, they love me when I don't even want they love. They, yeah, family, nothing like family, party or anatomy, hold you down like gravity and got your back happily. Runs in our blood, streaming right now, Willie Jones. <laughs> but my family, I can't live without them. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I see myself still performing, still doing this music thing. Probably like two albums out by then. Opening up for who knows, Darius Rucker. You know what I'm saying? Um, headlining my own tour uh, featuring Ray Shrim and Diana Gordon with, with uh, who else? Sam Hunt, you know what I'm saying, special guest. Um, and probably get into some acting stuff, definitely heavily into like uh, activism, uh, especially for prison reform. Um, just like, you know, boots on the ground, just working, just working on myself, just being better and still being Willie Jones. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, checking out some of these questions and answers. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to, you can follow me at Willie Jones on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, official Willie Jones, 
And before you even do that, I would love for you to check out my music. Road Waves is out right now. Um, you can find it on Tidal, all streaming platforms. And uh, yeah, peace.